guys, what's up? Since it is a Women in Horror Month and since it is kind of coming to a close, I figured I would at least review something by the Solska sisters this month. Sadly, I've seen all, um, really most of their uh, feature length films, uh, except for See No Evil 2. But the problem with that is I haven't even seen the first See No Evil, so I had to, so I had to see that before I even watch their sequel to it. But tonight's movie is their short film. It was an entry for the 48-hour film festival. This film was shot in 48 hours, and it's only about seven minutes long. It's a short film, so yeah. And tonight's movie is Bad Girls. This movie is about a these um, two girls, obviously played by the Solska sisters. They set up a webcam for their grandmother and so she can like chat with people online. And the grandmother witnesses a woman being beaten and viciously attacked. And the girl, the two granddaughters go out and get revenge for this girl. Well, go out and try and find this guy to get revenge for the girl who was attacked. Sounds interesting. And it's only about seven minutes, so uh, I will see you guys in about seven minutes. <laughs> Okay, so upon telling uh, the plot on the video, I got a couple things wrong. First of all, he, they don't see just, it, the grandmother doesn't see a woman get attacked. What happened was they set up this webcam and this laptop so they could talk to their grandmother because they're going off to college. And the ne like the next day, the grandmother, um, you know, decided wants to, wants to chat with them. And their grandmother is attacked and viciously beaten by one of the new employees at the, um, I guess, like, retirement home that she lives in. And basically what ensues after that is, um, is Gwen and Mary Jane, the two twins, getting to these two college guys who they were partying with the previous night to find the guy and like kidnap him and so they can kill him. Now this is all in the span of about seven minutes and I will say for a short film it definitely has the pacing right for how it should work. It doesn't become ten and it doesn't become really intense or anything until like the last two minutes and the first, you know, five are just like a perfect level of build-up. The movie, the um, the acting is 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 is, is decent. Um, the writing is as well decent. The effects are okay. Um, there really isn't a ton of violence here. There's like uh, like. One, like there's like uh, there's a guy like the guy gets his throat slit I think is all that really happens to him after they like strangle him and beat him up a bit um really it's 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 I mean for a short film shot in 48 hours it's pretty good if you consider that but it's not like the best like it, it's not it's I mean it is not the best uh short film I've, I've seen. It's not the best short, like, horror film I've ever seen. Um, hell, it's not even as good as Maniac 2, Mr. Robbie. And I thought that short film, or, well, it's not, it's not really a short film, it's more just a, a small part of the movie that they filmed before, they, before uh, Joe Spinell died. But this one is... Uh, I mean, it's... It's pretty decent all around. It's I wouldn't say you know it's like something you should go out and watch immediately. It's nothing really life changing. It's more of a kind of generic. I don't, I really don't want to say it's generic because the idea behind it is kind of cool and original. And if this was a full length film, I think the Solsk sisters could definitely definitely pull it off. But I don't know. It's just as it is now. It isn't that 
great. I, it's nothing like too fantastic. I mean, if there's anybody out there looking for like a good horror, horror short horror film, this is definitely you know pretty good. It's you know nothing absolutely amazing. Um, on the gore meter from one to ten, one being something like the corpse grinders, and ten being something like brain dead. Uh, Bad Girls is a about. <sighs> I want to say a two, maybe a one. There really isn't that much actual gore here. I mean, there's some like physical violence, like you know, like people being beat up and strangled and stuff like that. But it's it's not really that bad, all things considered. Um. So really, it's not very. It's not as fun as Dead Hooker in a Trunk. Um, it's not as dark and interesting as, like, American Mary. Um, I mean, it's definitely an interesting uh, short film. It's, like I said, nothing amazing. I still think their uh, short film for this year's, uh, like, Women in Horror Month Blood Drive uh, called Give It Up. I, th I still think their short film for uh, this month was, for this year, was better than that one. Um, even though that one wasn't for Women in Horror Month. Uh, anyway guys, I'd probably give it maybe a 7 out of 10. It's, it's, I mean, it's good. I wouldn't, you know, go out and go out of my way to watch it. But I still think it deserves a pretty good rating for its low budget and, um, kind of min minimalist camera work and lighting. And the fact that this movie was made in the span of two days. I think that's actually really, really cool. Anyway, guys, I'm BiscuitBoo69. Links to the Facebook page, Tumblr, Twitter, all that, and Rotten Cotton t-shirts where I get my horror film t-shirts. They're all in the description below, along with my friend Chloe, her cosplay and makeup tutorial channel. She does a lot of cool stuff. Be sure to check her out. I'm signing off. Peace.